almost a good experience to be able to see something out of what you're used to seeing. I'm very used to seeing all the rocks and the minerals in the Blue Ridge Valley area, and so it was really interesting to go to something I wasn't comfortable with. Okay. I liked a bit of everything. Um, it was really neat hiking up the trail, it, seeing, it was neat going to the show to see all the different varieties of minerals. Um, especially such excellent specimens. And it was really cool going down in the mine, and especially to see the Fular scent like where it belongs. Okay. Basically they get to see rocks and minerals and mining operations. Uh, it's very difficult to find any underground mining operations here. And for many of them it's probably the only time they've ever been in a mine. Um, minerals at the mineral show, it's uh, a good way for them to see outstanding examples as Meredith had just said. And then to see the Franklin marble which is nothing like that anywhere near here. But you know, basically the best geologist is still the one who has seen the most rocks, types of rocks for them to see. But I think there's some other good benefits with the, um, with the students interacting with students from, other, from George Mason, so they get to see their peers at another university. Um, and getting the chance to see uh, the Franklin mine or the Ogdensburg mine at night is not something everybody gets to do. I think it's a unique experience. It's not what most people get to do, and, and that's a once in a lifetime opportunity for them, I think. Let's take a look right here, coming right around and back. What do you see? Fold. Can you see a fold? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. yeah. So this tells us these rocks were squeezed together. We not only created a fold, but we also put it on its side. So we have this recumbent fold. This is a big, more quartzy so the fold's segment strong. in here, and around it, you see schist. As far as the Virginia collection goes, it's here. We probably have the best overall collection of Virginia minerals, and part of that is the result of us having a very nice endowment from Dr. Richard Mitchell, who was the mineralogist at the University of Virginia years ago, who endowed our museum with a sizable amount of money to buy Virginia mineral specimens. The fluorescent minerals that are upstairs are all from the Franklin Sterling Hill ore deposit. It's the most fluorescent mineral deposit in the world. It's one of the most unique mineral deposits in the world.